about the Northern Lights potential, and sometimes it's very borderline whether we might be able to see it or not. Back in early May, so many of you captured the auroras uh, with your phones. And night mode is the best mode to use to really capture them if you were, are not, not able to see them uh, just by viewing and looking up to the north. However, it is more likely that you'll be able to see it maybe even without night mode looking north uh, on the horizon. So uh, between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. it is possible that you could see some of those uh, dazzling colors in the sky, especially if you missed it in early May. This is like the next best opportunity to see something on that scale. Nothing is a slam dunk or a guarantee but the chances are highest since May to be able to see it uh, pretty widespread. And then there's this uh, line that extends all the way to North Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, where it will be dim on the northern horizon. So we know that those chances are still pretty high to be able to see it. Just real briefly, the reason why we see the colors that we do, oxygen and nitrogen, they tend to interact with those solar particles. Oxygen a little bit higher up. That's why you'll see some of those reds and greens about 150 miles up or so. And then nitrogen kind of gives off that blue and purple. Uh, or pink rather. And so when you see all those dancing colors, what you're looking at is gas interacting with the particles, a really cool, dazzling display, and a reminder that the Earth is constantly protecting us from solar radiation. Sometimes solar flares can be strong enough to punch through it, but generally speaking, that doesn't happen. 70 degrees in Fort Wayne, 74 in Indianapolis, temperatures in the low 80s in Evansville and St. Louis. This is kind of a taste of what's headed our way by tomorrow afternoon. Look at all this warmth from essentially North Dakota, northern Minnesota, where temperatures are close to 90 in Bismarck, all the way down to San Antonio, mid-90s. Not a big temperature difference from north to south, as uh, big as that distance really is. A little farther to the east, though, we're just on that edge of the warmest air. We will get pretty close to, might even get to 80 degrees tomorrow. It's a one-day thing. Then we're back down to the 70s and then 50s by next week. Hourly forecast, clear skies, so if we are able to view the auroras, no clouds will be in the way for that show, so really crossing fingers. I missed the one in May. Really want to see this one. Uh, future temperatures into the upper 70s, right around 80 degrees by tomorrow evening, and then heading into Saturday morning, starting off in the mid-50s. Now, it is good to keep in mind, while the series of fronts that will move through the area from essentially late Friday through Sunday, so clouds will increase late Friday, but it'll be sunny for the rest of the uh, day before sunset anyway. A few sprinkles and light showers are possible Saturday afternoon with some sun breaks. Could see a few more scattered showers later Saturday evening, maybe even a downpour in northwest Ohio between about 4 and 8 p.m. That clears off to the east, and then another front moves through a Sunday, and it could bring a few scattered showers our direction as well before we're able to clear out. And once we clear out with that front later Sunday, that is when a little bit of frost is possible. I mean, temperatures will only be a few degrees shy of freezing Monday night to Tuesday and Tuesday night to Wednesday. So we've got mid-30s at this point. Could get a little cooler depending on how quickly we clear out Monday night. And then we should start to recover back into the upper 30s by Thursday. Here's a look at the seven-day forecast. Breezy sunshine tomorrow, 78, close to 80. A few scattered showers possible Saturday. Only a few sprinkles maybe on Sunday, a little gusty at times. Cold front passes through late Sunday. We'll see highs in the mid-50s for the first part of next week. And then we should see highs in the mid-60s by the end of next week. Climbing back up.